Imagine paying a visit to your ONG doctor just to get there and the doctor tells you that, Messi, there's, a in there's an increased likelihood of your vagina collapsing. Oh my God. That is what happened to one of my subscribers that prompted her to send me an email in regards to vagina collapse. And I decided to make this video today. Good day, everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about vagina collapse. Yes, does the vagina really collapse? You are going to learn everything about vaginal collapse today. The signs and symptoms, the various types of vaginal collapse, when to visit the doctor and what is actually causing vaginal prolapse. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about vagina collapse. Yes, the big question is, does the vagina really collapse? I'm going to be explaining everything today. The real word is not vagina collapse, but rather vagina prolapse vagina was prolapse. So what is really this vagina prolapse? Vagina prolapse is a condition in which the vagina slips out of position. It usually happens when the pelvic muscles, the tissues around the pelvic region becomes very weak. It usually occurs, it is more common in women who have had several multiple vaginal deliveries and they are going to their menopause, they are in their menopause period. You know, during vaginal deliveries, you have to push, you have to apply a lot of pressures. The muscles around that area, the tissues around that area become weakened in such a way that um, the vagina might likely slip out of position. In a layman's language, Vaginal prolapse simply means the vagina slipping out of position. You may want to ask, how does this happen? I'm going to explain it with a picture. All I just want you to do is to follow me so you don't miss out. So looking at the picture showing on the screen, you can see, just look at it carefully. You can see you have the uterus, the upper part that is also known as the womb. That is where the baby usually stays. And looking down, you see something like urinary bladder. That is where urine is stored. Urinary bladder, the urine is stored there. Then looking at the other side, you see something rectum. The one starting with arrow named rectum. That is where your fecal matter, that is your feces, your poo poo are stored. You get it. Then looking down, you see the vagina. You know, when you see the vagina, you have the opening of the vagina. The opening of the vagina is where the penis go through. Then we have the vagina propria inside where it, the penis gets to. So you see the vagina there. You can see that the vagina is at the middle. Let's just say at the middle of the bladder and also the rectum. And the womb is above the uterus. Just look carefully at this picture. So when the vagina this slips out of position the vagina is weak it goes out of position you can see the various organs surrounding uh, the vagina is going to be affected the uterus is going to af be affected the bladder is going to be affected depending on the position depending on where the vagina sleeps that is why we have different types of vagina prolapse different types of prolapses i'm going to be explaining it in this video Vaginal prolapse might be small or might be big. So when you have just a little or small vaginal prolapse, it is known as incomplete prolapse. But when you have a bigger prolapse, it is known as complete prolapse. Some individuals, some women may experience vaginal prolapse without showing obvious signs and symptoms. Why others might experience vaginal prolapse and show a lot of signs and symptoms that requires medical attention. So let's talk about the different types of vaginal prolapse. The first one I have to share with you is the uterine prolapse. The uterine prolapse. What is really happening in the uterine prolapse? In the uterine prolapse, 
what happens is that the uterus bulges or slip into your vagina you see the uterus is at the top of the vagina so when the uterus bulges it slips into the vagina it goes into the vagina you know the uterus is not supposed to be in that it's not supposed to go into the vagina but the uterus is going into the vagina it presses on the vagina then we say uterine prolapse has taken place yeah in severe cases you you will feel vaginal tissue rubbing against your clothes you see the vaginal tissue rubbing against your clothes that's uterine prolapse if you understand the structure the diagram i showed you at the beginning it will give you an insight of what is happening then that takes us to the second type of prolapse which i want to share with you which is the vaginal prolapse itself so the vaginal prolapse is when the top of your vagina drops into the vaginal canal you see that we have the vaginal canal we have the top so when the vaginal itself drops into the vaginal canal then we say vaginal prolapse has taken place then that takes me to the top type which is the cystocele what happens is that your bladder is dropping into the vagina you see the bladder is on that side are you seeing the bladder now so when the bladder drops into the vagina we say cystocele has taken place then that takes us to the next one which is urethrocele urethrocele this is the urethra where urine pass through so when the urethra bodies into the vagina we say that urethrocele has taken place i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well but just see the spelling and that gives you an insight of what i'm talking about then the other one i want to share with you is rectocele as name implies i believe you must be guessing like what could this be recto rectum so when the rectum that's where feces are stored bulges into the vagina we say rectocele has taken place then the other one is the enterocell. Enterocell. Enterocell is where the small intestine bulges into the vagina. Then we say that has taken place. I don't know if it's cell or cell, but you know what I'm talking about. So when the organ surrounding the vagina bulges into the vagina, it displaces the vagina. Then we say there is a vaginal prolapse. Looking at the picture I showed you at the very beginning, you can see that the vagina is supporting a lot of tissues the pelvic muscles the pelvic tissues they are supporting a lot of organs so when there is a displacement of the vagina there's going to be an issue that is known as vaginal prolapse yeah and there are also pelvic muscles around that area there are pelvic tissues so when these pelvic muscles become weakened as frequent as a result of frequent or regular vaginal deliveries or multiple vaginal deliveries this can happen so as a subscriber i believe you now know the different types of vaginal prolapse now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of vaginal prolapse first sign and symptoms i want to share with you is a feeling of fullness heaviness or pain in the pelvic area the feeling often gets worse as the days goes by after standing, lifting, or coughing, you see this feeling. Then the other sign is back pain, lower back pain. Then you start having this bulging in the vagina. There's a bulging down there, feeling like something is slipping out of your you behind. Oh, I feel something is like it's coming out of my vagina. That is just the organs that are pressing and it's making the making the vagina like feel something is coming out. So you, you are gonna have this. A bulging out of the vaginal sensation like you know something is come something is not right so when you notice that something is not right down there it's advisable you speak with your doctor then another sign is repeat bladder infection difficulty pooing problem with sexual intercourse and problem in certain tapons so these are the various signs and symptoms that are likely going to pop up as a result of vaginal prolapse then that takes us to the various causes of vaginal prolapse the first one i have to share with you is childbirth i said that earlier on that childbirth those that are doing those that have had multiple vaginal deliveries 
are more prone to vaginal prolapse than those that have caesarean section. Then another one is menopause. Yes, we all know that hormones are being released as a woman into the bloodstream, the estrogens, the, all the hormones. So these hormones are usually responsible for the strong muscles, the strong tissues around the pelvic region. So as one ages, this hormone production reduces and that might make the muscles down there around the pelvic region weak. Then another one is surgery. Yes, surgery such as hysterectomy, which is the removal of the uterus, the removal of the womb can lead to vaginal prolapse. Then age, aging, menopause is linked. So as one age, there is an increased risk of going down with vaginal prolapse. Then extreme physical activity or lifting of heavy objects can be at risk. Then genetics or hereditary factor. So if there is a genetic history of vaginal prolapse in your lineage, there is a possibility of you going down with vaginal prolapse. Then another one is activities or condition that place extra pressure on your abdominal area. Then you have not maintaining good body weight. So if you are overweight, that can predispose you of becoming of having a predispose you of having vaginal prolapse. Then heavy lifting, straining to pull, especially those that are having frequent or recurrent constipation, that can predispose you to vaginal prolapse. Then chronic cough. More like and vaginal prolapse is more likely to occur if you are older than the age of 50. So now you know the causes of vaginal prolapse, you know the signs and symptoms of vaginal prolapse, and you also know what the various types of prolapse. So I'm going to be sharing with you the ways to prevent vaginal prolapse. Some of the ways of preventing vaginal prolapse are as follows. The first one is exercise yes when i say exercise i'm talking about the kegel exercise for ladies i believe you must have heard about the kegel exercise the kegel exercise helps to build the pelvic floor muscles it makes them stronger it builds them then the second thing i have to share with you is maintaining a healthy weight healthy weight with good bmi not too fat and not too slim like me yeah <laughs> Then the third one I have to share with you is quit smoking, stop smoking, or avoid smoking as much as you can. We all know that generally smoking is not good for our health. Then another one is you can see a therapist that can help you out with some muscles, that can help you have some exercise that are going to help you build your pelvic floor muscles. Then another one is the use of vaginal pastries. That can go a long way. If it has happened, you can speak with the doctor. They can insert some vaginal pastries to help put the um, the vaginal and the, to help put the vaginal in position and other vital organs in position. Then also, what I want to share with you is um, this question that comes in with somebody asked this question. I think I just, yeah, is it safe to have sex with vaginal prolapse? As far as it is comfortable for you, it is good to have sex with it. But if you are not comfortable with it, you can speak with your doctor for some other um, um, advice and also if there are any way forward. So it's good, it is safe to have sex with vaginal prolapse depending on your own comfort. It might be discomfortable, it might not be comfortable for you. So you can speak with your doctor and they, go, they are going to help you out with the solution. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. I believe this video has helped you understand what vaginal prolapse or collapse is all about. Once again, thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmith Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.